so it's seven o'clock. I have all my books here. I don't know which one I will start with, but yeah, here we go. Um, actually, I do think I know which one I'm starting with. I think I'm gonna start with Hello World by Hannah Frey. So on the cover already says how to be human in the age of the machine. So yeah, this is the book chosen for June and July for our LT Math Book Club. And I will put all the links down below for you to check it out. And yeah, I'm way behind on this because even though it's for June and July, I haven't started it yet. So yeah, but it's the 5th of July. I think I will manage to finish this this month. So I'm going to start with this one. And then I have a bunch of other books over here that I don't know. But what I'm going to do different than last time is I'm going to put a timer for one hour. I'm going to read for one hour. And then after that, I'm going to see if I feel in the mood of choosing another book or not. Because last time it was very hard for me to just go on and read for a couple of hours the same book. And I think if I just switch it a little bit, I will manage to go through more. So I will read one hour of that, stop, and read something else after one hour and so on. Maybe this way I will not also forget to go and have breakfast and lunch and all of those things because last time it was a mess. Anyway, oh by the way I will also put the video for my last readathon down in the description box and yeah these are all the books. I have a couple of like small books just a couple and then some like medium books and I have two big ones this one and that one and yeah so wish me luck and and that's it so I am going a little bit slow but I'm on page 45 out of 285 of the hello world book i think it's quite good i liked it i read more than an hour of it but it still is just 45 pages it takes a long time but i still like it oh right to go back on and yeah i think it's good and interesting so i kind of like it i will go and have some breakfast right now and I will probably decide after breakfast if I want to swap the book with something else or not. So, yeah. so far, so good. So, I'm gonna take a break from Hello World by Hannah Fry, and I want to choose something from these ones. Um, if you were wondering, I am on page 50 from 280 something for the hello world book but i think i'm just gonna choose something else and i'm not in the mood of like a short book yet so i do feel motivated and i'm gonna get this one i am finally gonna start this book i think i wanted to read this since i saw the movie in the cinema and when was that 27 or something like that I hope I'm right so I will start this one I'm gonna take the cover off oh it has like a nice um, spine over there and I'm gonna start this one I am very excited oh by the way if you have no idea what this is about I think the back will actually tell you a little bit more. So it's the phenomenal true story of the black female mathematicians at NASA whose calculations helped fuel some of our greatest achievements in space. And it does say on after that soon to be a major emotion picture, but it's all it's already a great motion picture. Okay, the book was published in 
and uh, 2016. So yeah, I was right. I think the movie was in 2017. And yeah, it is quite long, 300 and something pages, but it has an index and a biography and notes and acknowledgements and epilogue and all of those stuff. So yeah, kind of the same thing, 200 and something. So yes, I am finally starting this. I don't have a bookmark with me, but I am gonna use this like a small piece of paper when I will stop. So yeah, keep going. I am very excited for this book. So I am reading this one. Oh, I should put it more close hard for me to and I want to read you this bit oh no not this bit sorry this bit because the book uses this bit and I thought it was really interesting because it says negro colored Indian girls though some readers might find the language of hidden figures discordant to their modern ears I've made every attempt to remain true to the time period and to the voices of the individuals represented in the story in this story so I thought that was really interesting it also has a prologue that's like around maybe 10 pages or something like that I'm on chapter 5 I haven't read much maybe like 50 pages in total or something like that but it is really interesting I haven't met all of the women yet but what I really enjoyed so far is the historical part of all of this. They do speak about how it was to be black during that period, which is very interesting. It was a thing I found very interesting in the movie as well, but this one speaks about it again. And yeah, I never actually realized how important was I can't find my words right now so I never realized how important the fact that they actually worked there was now I didn't realize that they weren't allowed to work in specific places I know you might feel like I should know this but I didn't know that so yeah and I found that really interesting like yeah, I, I never knew they couldn't actually work there because they were black and then something happened and they were allowed to. So the government did a couple of things because basically there was a need for a lot of people. So yeah, I, that was interesting and the book presents it very interesting. So, and easy to understand. There's not much there's not much else I can say. It's just properly black. So I'm sorry it doesn't look like that pleasing. But the cover does. The dust jacket actually. So yeah, I will keep you posted. I thought that was interesting, so yeah. I'm gonna see. So I haven't read much, but it's still good. Yeah. Took a small break. Decided to take some of these ones to eat. But I decided to continue with this book, so I'm not going to choose another book. I still want to go on and read more from Hidden Figures. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm chapter 5 on this one. And yeah, I'm just going to read a little bit more and then see how I feel. I have a snack as well. I feel pretty good and excited about this book. And then... I'm gonna see how it goes so yeah I will let you know how I feel after I read a couple of more chapters and see if I just want to continue okay so I have read a little bit more on this one as I said I am now on chapter 9 so yeah it's like page 77 or something like that so um, yeah still gives me a very historical feel um, though in one of the chapters, so in chapter 6, which is Warbirds over there, it is a lot of physics because basically it's about the plane. It's about planes, as the title suggests, and it was a little bit harder to go through. 
but other than that, it was pretty okay. So far, even though I'm up chapter 9 out of like how many? 23? I've met just like two main characters, though it's strange to speak about characters in a non-fiction book, but it's like two main protagonists, is that the right word to use? I don't know, two women? <laughs> They're like, I presume more important than the rest, so, but that's kind of it. Nothing major, nothing like boring and stuff so far so i find it interesting but again it feels like a historical book which i think it's kind of it it's the point of the book but yeah it feels very historical and a little bit of physics and mentions also i got a lot of mentions of women in the society as well not just like african-american people and women but just like women in general and i thought that was interesting as well so yeah i'm gonna see i actually want to take a break from these big books and try some small ones so i still have hello world on my tablet but i was thinking maybe try some of the other ones I kind of don't want another biography, another bit about like people and stuff, so I'm probably not going to choose the one about Newton. I do have these small ones, but I still feel like I, I can read something else. And I have this one, how long is a piece of string? This probably go with like, does it go with like math questions? Oh! Maybe I can try this one and read a couple of questions because then it won't be so bad if I don't finish the book because I will read like Why does Monday come round so quickly? How the numbers of the moon combined to make our week? Hmm. How to conmen get rich? How do... Oh my goodness, I can't read. How do conmen get rich? Tricks and scams that make people part with their money. Mm. What makes a hit single? Patterns and variations that everyone likes? That's interesting. Why won't the case fit in the boot? How to squeeze things and or keep them apart? Okay. Should I phone a friend? I think I could try this one. It looks pretty funny. And if I don't finish it, I won't feel bad about it because they're just like questions. So I can read one question and then take a break if that makes sense so i will probably try this one what else do i have um i don't think i will try this one either hmm, maybe not history of mathematics does it go like magic of number starting with numbers numbers put to work the shape of things hmm. i mean this seems like Funny, easy to read. And then this one. Um, I don't know. I, I might leave this one for later. So I think I'm thinking between these two right now, which one I want to start. And yeah, I will probably go and make lunch. So this is going to be also my lunch break. So I'll go and make lunch. And after lunch, I'm basically going to decide which of these two bigs I'm going to start. So, yeah. So, I just finished my lunch break. And during my lunch break, which transformed into something a little bit longer, I read one more chapter of the book Hello World by Hannah Frey. So I finished the chapter, I finished Justice and now I'm on Medicine. And it it was really interesting. I, I was like, oh, I need to read more, I need to read more. So that was a good thing about the book. Also, I want to mention something that popped in my mind while I was reading this. If you've read, um, 
What is the name of the big weapons of math destruction? I think I said that. So I think it's weapons of math dis destruction. I do remember the cover of the book. I know it's yellow. Yeah, I think I'm right. And it, it is weapons of math destruction. Which like speaks about like very similar stuff, especially the chapter about justice. There is an example in weapons of math destruction that like it's basically very very similar to an example that she used in this book and it's about people obviously going to jail or not and, and stuff like that. I don't want to give too much away because I feel like if I will speak about the topic I will give too much away and it's too very interesting but why at that point I thought this book was a little bit like better because the other one as it's called weapons of math destruction so it speaks about the bad things that happen in the society and stuff and this one at least in that chapter it like it saw both the good and the bad part so it saw how the algorithm was helping and what was good about it, but I also saw the bad part, like how people are using it too much or rely on it too much. And it speaks about the society and how the algorithm cannot actually be 100% fair. And I thought that was so interesting. And for me personally, Mentioning both the good part and the bad part like makes it even better because it feels like a debate I don't have to be like oh this is all wrong and all bad this is also good so especially the chapter on justice I thought it was really nice I thought it was really nice so I'm really curious to see how the medicine is the chapter on medicine is going to be because the, I as far as I remember, there was an example in Weapons of Mad Destruction on medicine as well. Now, the other chapter that's presented here is Cars. I, I'm not sure what that means exactly. And then there's Crime, which I thought it will be kind of the same as Justice, but maybe it's something different, so I'm curious. Art, there was nothing related to art as far as I remember on Weapons of Mad Destruction, but if it is... Just, just let me know, because I'm probably I'm making a mistake. So yeah, I've read more of this one, and I enjoy it so far. And I feel like I just want to read this for longer. But I thought, you know what, I should stop a little bit. Choose another book. And I take a break, and see if I want to come back to this book or not. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a break from this book, and put it aside very interesting again and I'm gonna go to these two that I chose I was like I want to choose from and already from the start I have a feeling I want to read the story of mathematics I I just want to read more history related stuff and I think it's just because I don't know I started hiding figures in the morning and that's like very historical and I just want to read more about like general history of maths instead of like a biography or stuff like that so I think that's what I'm gonna do because this one like how long is a piece of string more hidden mathematics of everyday life I feel is just gonna be so off <laughs> compared with oh, hello world that's about algorithms but also like math mathematical models and she speaks about more maths in this one so I feel like I don't want to be like oh this is not really good I don't know but I, I will start with this one so I'm gonna go on and read for one hour why am I gonna read on just numbers numbers no work sh oh shape oh so that's also geometry algebra that's good also, oh, it's basically kind of like, yeah, calculus, statistics, and set theory. And a little bit of logic at the end. So, yeah. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna read, but it looks nice. I'm gonna see if it, I will go a little bit faster with this one than with the other ones. So, just a quick 
overview, I am on page 79 of the book Hello World and I am on page 77 of the book Hidden Figures. So, yeah, <laughs> kind of on the same page. I hope I'm gonna, I mean, if I, if I will get to 77 or 79 on this one, it's almost like half of the book. Because the book is quite short. Oh, actually, it's not half of the book. I'm wrong. Anyway, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I will, again, I will read for one hour and I will come back and let you know what I feel about the book. So, so around an hour has passed and I am at page 46 of the book The Story of Mathematics. Um, there's not much I can say about this. It's just like a history book about different mathematical concepts. So it's nothing I can say about it. I'll be like, oh, different. But it starts with like numbers. So I've read a bit about numbers and how like we came up with, that, with our number system going through like other different type of number systems and you can see it has like bits about mathematicians that worked on it it has like images it has extra information it has a lot of diagrams a lot of representations and stuff where you can use tables so that was the first chapter And I'm in chapter two, which is numbers put to work. So at the moment, I've just like, we spoke about like, logs, adding and subtracting numbers, um, timetables, more logs. And then we went on to speak, now we, but the book, sorry, the book went on to speak about like, calculators and computers and stuff like that so we got some interesting machines we got a little bit about Ada Lovelace and I found it very interesting I've never heard of this so she's called princess of parallelograms why why is that anyway it doesn't explain in this bit why she's called like that but and now I am at a computer in the hand. So, yeah. It's interesting. I recommend it. The information is very easily explained. Everyone can understand it. So far, I haven't found anything that's like, oh, so it's very complicated. Or like the way they explain it is like strange. But no, this is it. And yeah, I think it's interesting. So I, I recommend it at the moment, obviously, I read just 46 pages, but still, I think it's, it's interesting. On the other hand, I am tired. You might find it like, why are you tired when you've just like read the whole day? But I am tired. I am really tired. And I feel like even I haven't read that much but i think i have but i always feel like that at this point because i have around like three more hours to go and i feel like i haven't done much but i think i did so i've started three books i haven't finished any of the books yet i don't plan on starting any other books so i have these three and I think in the last three hours, I'm probably just gonna go on and read a little bit of each book and see how much I can finish until around like seven-ish o'clock. And then, yeah, I will do like a final, how much I've read of each book and that will be kind of it. So I don't want to start anything else. I just want to focus on these ones. And the good thing is that I really enjoy all three of them. So there's not one that I find like, oh, this is a little bit boring 
or I finding really hard to go through it. So that's a good thing. The story of mathematics is interesting and nice. Hello world, it's very interesting. And I, it's the one that's like thought provoking and I really enjoy it. So I want to speak about this with other people, which is a good thing. And then hidden figures, again, it is more historical, but I find it interesting. So, yes, I am excited for all three books. I kind of have like a mix of like two kind of like historical books and one more like applied maths in our society. So that's, that's interesting. But this one kind of has maths in our society as well. So anyway, but I don't want to start any of the other books. So I am not gonna, gonna go through the ones that I haven't started and I will not start. So I won't read anything so far on how long is a piece of string. I'm not starting these ones either. I think this is my second time I'm trying to start them and I haven't. So I'm not gonna start vicious circles and the other savage shapes. I'm not gonna start murderous mods guaranteed to, br to bend your brain. I'm not gonna start this one on Newton. I'm not gonna start golden ratio. And again, I think this is the second time I'm trying to start this book. But I'm not gonna start um, Nature's Numbers Discovering Order and Pattern in the Universe by Ian Stewart. So these are the books I'm not gonna start. I'm just gonna put them back in my bookshelf.